Hey guys, let's talk about password reset on the router. Now, your router has configuration registers that we already talked about, and the two registers we're going to be dealing with the most is 0x2102, and this is the normal setting for normal router operation. On 2102, when the router starts up, the iOS loads, and then grabs the startup file in NVRAM, and moves that up into the regular RAM and then renames it the running configuration. And that way you've got your config on the router. If there's a power failure and the router reboots, it still reloads back to the where it was and puts that in RAM. Now the other one is 2142. 2142 skips the startup configuration and gives you a blank configuration in RAM or yeah, RAM uh, and calls it the running and then you can kind of start doing things from there. So those are the two registers. Now again, normally your router is on 2102. So here's what the 2102 looks like. Again, router starts up, the iOS loads from the flash card, the iOS then points to the NVRAM where it grabs the startup config, it makes a copy of that and it places the copy in the RAM and then that becomes the running config. And again, then all your stuff is there and you're all set. Now, unlike 2142, 2142, the iOS loads, it skips the NVRAM in the startup file and goes right to the running and gives you a blank file to start with. Now, it doesn't wipe the startup configuration, so it doesn't wipe what's there. It just kind of leapfrogs over it and gives you a blank one to start with. And then after that, it's up to you. So this is what we're going to do to change the password on the router. Remember, the password is stored in the startup file and that's what gets loaded so that's how the password gets loaded every time the router powers up so what we have to do is we have to start the router stop it before it loads change the mode to 2142 then load the router from there and let it skip the startup file so then we start with a blank one and running once we're in the running we go to enable mode so then we're past the password part once we're past the portion where the password would stop us then we load the startup up and then we can set a new password save it and then we're all set so that's what we're gonna do alright so here I am in my router and if I go to enable you see it asks me for a password so again this situation happens all the time you know some network administrator puts a, a new router out at Bolivar he names it after his girlfriend plus her dog plus his street number uh, three years later on he leaves um, it takes the place a long time to find somebody new, so then you come in, this guy's already gone, he's not going to share any passwords with you, he probably forgot it anyway, so you've got to find a way to get in there. So we don't know this password. So what we're going to do is, we're going to power cycle the router, and after we power cycle the router, we're going to hit control and break, and break is up on the top right of the keyboard, usually it's pause and break. If you have a laptop, sometimes it doesn't say break, it just says pause, so look for that. So I'm going to power cycle the router, and control break. Wait for it. Actually, get away to it's decompressing. Come on. There you go. All right, I hit it one too many times. Normally, it says Raman one, and that's where you want to be. So, first command you want to type in is confrag. Now, confrag means is just short for configure the register or configuration register, however you want to say it. So, do you want to wish to change the configuration? Your answer should be yes. Then you can hit no to the first one because you don't want to go to diagnostic mode, so just hit N. Use net for IP broadcast, nope. Load from blah, nope. Use all zeros, nope. Nope. Ignore system configuration info. So here it is. Um, what is this? One, two, three, four. The sixth option down on this router. Ignore system configure. So again, you want it to ignore the startup. And the your answer is yes. Now everything else you can hit no and there you're all set now you can see when we got to this point when we first started this and we typed in confreg it told us the register was 2102 and now that we've made this change the register is now 2142 now once it gets to here everybody's next instinct is to hit yes to save this change or blah 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 so but here you want to hit N for no because you've already changed the register once you hit Y to this ignore system configuration info you have changed the register now at this point you need to power cycle the router or just type in reset so we're going to type in reset and hit enter and now the router is going to boot 
Now, I'm going to pause the video here and let this boot because this is kind of an old router and it probably takes about four minutes to boot, so I'll be right back. All right, the router rebooted, and how you can tell everything worked is you get this and this question Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? You only get that when there's no configuration in running. So it's either a brand new router or you skipped the running configuration in the register set to 2142. So the answer here is going to be no. And then I can get in. Sorry, this one's a little slow. Alright, so there I am. Now I'm in the router. So I got in the router without the password. Now I want to go past the part where I was at. So I want to get past the password portion. So you're just going to do enable, and then you get into enable mode. Now, at this point, I'm now past the enable password. I can now load the configuration that I had. So I can do copy, start, run. Remember, it's always copy from where to where. I want to grab the startup configuration that has all the cool stuff that I want, and I want to put it into the running. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to name it the running configuration? And our answer is yes, so just hit enter. And boom, it's all copied. Now, had I changed the router name, you could see that everything would change. So now I've moved all the configuration over, so now you have to do some maintenance. We've got to set the configuration register back, and we have to change the password. So we're going to go into uh, global mode, config T, and from config T, first we're going to change uh, the password. So we're going to do enable secret Cisco. And then after we've changed the password, we have to change that register. So configuration register 0x2102. All right, so we've done our two things. Now everything should be good, but we want to save our changes. So go back one level with exit or control Z, however you want to do it. And then do copy run start. Because now we're going to take what we changed and we're going to move that to the start and hit enter. And we should be set. Again, this is a way old router, it takes a little bit for it to go. All right, so that's all you have to do to get past the password. You have to hit control break during a boot process or during the boot up or the startup. Once you get in there, go into Raman, type in config, and then it's going to ask you a couple questions. You want to get to the one where it says, you know, skip the initial startup file or the loading file or however it says it. Um, then go through and wait till it's done. Ask you that question if you want to change the configuration. We'll look for the register. And I don't know if I can go back that far. This has got so much crap, but I, don't, I think we went past it. Yeah, as soon as you see that the register was changed, answer no to the question and time, and go from there. Then just reboot the router with a, with a reset, and you should be all set. Then again, you have to get into the router, get past the password, so go to enable or privilege mode. Then you want to load the startup file then change the password, change the register, and then save all your stuff, and you should be good. All right, hope that helps, and we'll see you in class.